stolen bike last week. You know who's handling the case? The whole precinct, Sonny. You try the property room. Go down the hall to the left. Got it? I got a present for you, Danko. Oh, yeah? Who from? Well, how do I know? Some kid left it. the kind of chopper used to find now? What's left of it? Called it the Jolly Green Giant. You recognize the kid? No, but he's probably still here. He said he had a stolen bike on file, so I sent him to the property room to take a look. Uh, hang on to that for me, will you? All right. See you guys later. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, you the kid looking for the bike? Yeah. Um, uh, any luck? Yeah. I'm Mike Danko. You brought a package in for me? Oh, yeah. Some white dude gave me a buck to carry at a block. I was coming to check on my wheels anyway. Can you tell me what he looked like? I don't know. Just a guy. Was he tall, short? Just a guy, you know? Except for his hands, I guess. What about him? Weird. Never saw anything like it before. He had no thumbnails.
doesn't know what happened. Apparently nobody does. No, I do. We need the bomb squad. Hey, Danko. Your wife's on the horn. Second time tonight. It must be important. Excuse me, guys. Hi, babe. How you doing? I'm fine, but there's a man who's been trying to reach you. He said he's on his way to the station, and he said it was really urgent. I don't see anybody. Did he give you a name? Yeah, he said his name was Tyson, but you would probably remember him as Captain Tom Tyson. I don't... Tyson? Um, he left a number. It's, um... Wait a minute. 555... Five, five. Three, three. Okay. I'll uh, call him and be right home. Tyson residence. Yeah, Mike Danko for Tom Tyson. Officer Mike Danko? Yeah, who's this? A Haley, bomb squad. We've had an explosion here. The Tyson you want to talk to is in the hospital. Do you know Tyson personally, Danko? No, I'm... I'm returning his call. Okay, thank you. Something wrong? Uh, that hand grenade case. Didn't you say the guy's name was Tyson? Yeah, Thomas Tyson. He just called me at home earlier tonight. I tried to call him and I got Haley of the bomb squad. Do you know this guy Tyson? I don't think so. Leave a message? Just his number. You, uh, planning to move a lot of equipment in and out, Mr. Johnson? What I move in won't go out. Oh. Well, good. Good. Sounds like we might have you for a long-term lease tenant, uh, eventually. That is, uh, if your business is good, right? Your keys? Uh, commercials? A movie? Exactly. What is it you plan on doing here, Mr. Johnson? Pay the rent, Mr. Goldman. In advance. And what I do after that is my business. the Army Record Center for Tyson's file. Captain Tyson fought in a special forces unit in Vietnam. And on a mission, he and the survivors of his long-range reconnaissance patrol of Green Berets were trapped in Viet Cong territory. Does this ring a bell, Danko? Well, it should. Your helicopter rescued Captain Tyson and his men. This is the official report here. Volunteering to attempt the rescue Deep in VC territory, the Air Force helicopter sustained severe structural damage from heavy enemy ground fire and its co-pilot was killed. Pilot M. Danko did persevere and successfully returned to base with the survivors of the Green Beret Patrol. Of course, I remember that mission, Lieutenant, but what I remember most is losing my co-pilot. You can't remember Captain Tyson? Sorry, sir, there's just too many faces. Lieutenant, what about the other men on the patrol? Well, we're working on that right now. We're having them checked out. What about Mrs. Tyson? She might be more help. Is 
there any change? No, Mrs. Tyson, I'm sorry, there isn't. He's still unconscious. This is my husband, Mike. Your husband tried to reach me just before he was injured, Mrs. Tyson. Yes, I was told. Do you have any idea why? No, I don't know why Tom was trying to reach you, Officer Danko. I can't remember his ever mentioning your name. Uh, we know it wasn't an accident. Um, did he suspect that he might have been in any danger? He wouldn't discuss it with me, except once. He said he thought someone had been following him for several weeks and that I was to be careful coming and going and especially watchful of our little girl. Was there anything else? A, a lot of crazy things have been happening that he just wouldn't talk about. He's been very upset recently. What kind of things, please, Mrs. Tyson, be specific. The net of our tennis court had been burned. We found a cigarette lighter. I think Tom called it a Zippo. And then we found a, a small container of morphine at the bottom of our pool. After that, we received a small wood-carved Buddha in the mail. Then this morning, the postman discovered a flag stuck to our door with a dagger. What kind of flag? Red and blue with a yellow star in the center. Mrs. Tyson, did you call the police? No, I was on my way here to be with my husband. But I did bring the dagger with me to give to the police later. Basic issue, jungle survival knife. to about becoming a police officer. If you are over 5'8 and under 35 and you are a resident of this city, you are eligible to apply. You must take written, oral, physical and psychological tests and submit to a very thorough background investigation. And if you comply in all these departments, your name will go on an eligibility list for the police academy. Excuse me. Uh, Riker. Uh, it's in my office. Just a second. Excuse me. Divided into 12 patrol zones. One car is assigned to patrol each zone. Riker? Yeah. Here, give it to me, will you please? Right. Be in the report. Thank you.
Riker? Yes, hold on. It's your wife. Hey. When? Okay, I'll talk to you later. Tom Tyson just died. Danko, I would like you to entertain a request that you be temporarily relieved of duty. I don't see what that would accomplish, Lieutenant. Tyson's killer could be a psychopath. Uh, Lieutenant, could I ride shotgun with him then? All right, Webster, you got it. But I want both of you to be careful. And Danko, if Tyson's killer sent that helicopter to you, you could be next on his list. <laughs> My name is Johnston. I want to report a burglary in progress. Ludlow 7, burglary in progress at Goldman Studios, 6116 Bendix Street, handle code 3. Ludlow 7, roger. <laughs> Stand in the middle of the room. This time, Danko. 
no safe trip back to Anki. You're a prisoner of war, and this stage is your prison. He's got to be up there, past the lights, where he can see us and we can't see him. No way to get out of the line of fire. I think if he wanted to shoot us, we'd be dead already. If you're thinking of escape, Danko, forget it. Watch the door you came in. That closes the electric circuit. Now, every way in and out of this building is wired to enough explosives to blow this whole city block back to Pleiku province. And the door isn't locked, Danko. Anyone can open it. But it's the last thing they'll ever do. He could be bluffing. Can't chance it. Remember, the bomb squad said that the guy's a first-class technician. Are you there, Danko? Do you read me? I read you. Look, uh, if it's me you want, you got me. But you gotta let my partner go. Affirmative, Danko. As soon as he locks you in handcuffs and leg irons and puts you in your cage. I don't think it's a good idea that we split up right now. I think it's our only chance, Terry. Look, if he's telling the truth and that door will blow if somebody opens it, then you've got to get to Riker. It's your partner's only chance to get out alive, Danko. Come on. on the floor in front of the cage. Tell your troops they can blow this whole building sky high anytime they want just by trying to get into it. You now have exactly five seconds to get out. Thank you. 
Sorry, Captain Tyson can't join us, Danko. Maybe I should have waited until I had the two of you together. Sort of like a class reunion. You killed Tyson. Why? For the same reason, I'm going to kill you, friend. Tyson's death was too easy, too clean. No diseases, no suffering, no sickness. You killed him, wasn't that enough? I lost all human dignity. My health, my wife, all the good Captain lost was his life. And even that's on my soul. You're gonna make it up to me. Climb out. I don't know what this is about. My name is Johnston, Sergeant Peter Johnston. I still don't know who you are. What did I ever do to you? You chickened out under fire. You bugged out with Tyson and the others and left me in the hands of the filthy VC to rot. Did you know when the fungus eats away your fingernails? They don't grow back. I had 20 days and a wake up to go. You and Tyson turned it into two years of hell. That's a lie. My crew never bugged out on anybody. Ever. Don't waste your breath, Danko. You and Tyson had your trial. I considered your cases for two years in a cage and two more in a psycho ward. The verdict was guilty. The sentence... The sentence is death. The hard way for you. You're going to live in this cage for the rest of your life, Danko. Until you kill us both. Because I have nothing more to live for. I want to die. And I want my blood on your hands. You're going to sleep in irons. Eat a handful of rice a day. With no other nutrients, you'll get chronic dysentery and beriberi and live in stench. All the while, you'll be thinking about your wife. Then one day, you'll go against everything you believe in. You're forgetting about one thing. My partner's gonna have this place surrounded. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how many people are out there. Your world and mine is inside these walls. Like I said, no one else can get in without blowing it to kingdom come. I have supplies for a month. I promise you, neither of us will leave here alive. Trying to reach you. What's happening? Tyson's killer's got Mike trapped inside that soundstage. Burton, why don't you move down the street and block it off, okay? His name's Peter Johnson. He's a demolitions expert. 
you saw me in. Back up to the corner and block it off, huh? Any action? Nothing, Lieutenant. Uh, this is Ludlow 7 at Control. This is Lieutenant Riker. Will you get the power company on the phone and tell them I want to know where that emergency crew is? We'll check it out. Stand by, Lieutenant. Roger. Did you learn anything from Mrs. Tyson? Tyson kept a diary. It's all there. A Green Beret specialist by the name of Peter Johnson was a demolitions expert in Tyson Patrol. When Mike's chopper came in for the rescue, Johnson was deployed as a rear guard. Tyson admits in the diary uh, Mike's co-pilot was hit. Tyson panicked and told Mike all the Green Berets were aboard, leaving Johnson behind. But Mike never knew it. No. Well, apparently Johnson convinced himself that Danko did know. Ludlow 7, Power Company reports its crew is on the scene. Roger. Owens taking this city block that we are in right here as the center of a square that's three blocks on a side. I want you to evacuate every single building in that area. No slip-ups. Chris, make sure they all know. Nobody goes near the building. I'm going to teach you all the games I learned from McConnell. After two years in a psycho ward, I still remember every one of them. You need help, Justin. Psychiatric help. I'm not sick, friend. Just broken. And now it's my turn to break you. I think you're gonna like this one, Danko. Remember hearing about it? <laughs> they called it the helicopter ride. <laughs> a nice dinner. I'll be back to rescue you in a couple of hours. Of course, you can always bail out by yourself. Or just pass out and let yourself fall. <laughs> Either way, your body has got to slip so far forward to drop. You'll drop two stories at first. are simple and foolproof. Well, there must be an angle somewhere. He's got every opening in the building wired. The only way in is to cut a new opening or tunnel up through the basement. Either takes time. What if the electric company cuts the power, disconnects the explosive circuits? We can go in in the dark. Possible. Unless he has his own power supply, a generator or something. Area's clear, Lieutenant. The electric company is here and ready to cut the juice. All right, tell them to hit it in eight minutes. When the lights go out, I want you and Owens, Haley's men, one man from each unit, to move in on the double. 
As long as I go in first, I know the layout. Let's go. I see your partner trick me with your handcuffs. Nobody's trying to trick you. We're trying to help you. I don't need help. You do. Try to escape, Danko. Charlie didn't have to stop me. The jungle did. And these walls will always stop you. Listen, Johnston. This isn't the jungle. You're not the VC. It's you against me. Now, you can try and kill me when you want, but I'm going to try and help you whether you like it or not. Help me! You... You and Tyson wiped out my life! And I swear you're gonna finish the job! You had booby trap training in Nam. But this soundstage is designed strictly for specialists. Hardcores like me. I got every kind of booby trap and anti-personnel weapon there is planted in here. It cost me a fortune. But I saved plenty the last four years. Can't spend much in a VC camp or a padded cell. Stop. Do not move. You will detonate the master charge. Stop. Do not move. You will detonate the master charge. <laughs> Most of the traps are wired to the explosives. <laughs> Do one mistake, and we both escape. Forever. Emergency generator. I figured they'd try to put out the lights. 
trap between both doors. Come on! Terry's inside. I know. I'll be right upstairs here, Danko. Why don't you come and get me? mistake, then go. When you cut the master switch on the console, you automatically activated a timer connected to the master explosives. You broke 
the building switch. But now everything goes in two minutes. How do we stop it? Not enough time. Tell me how to stop the timer. Johnson, tell me how to stop the timer. And if I don't make it, you'll get your wish. Neither of us will get out of here alive. Can we just... Or in five seconds, we walk out of here and you go up by yourself. Do you understand that? Downstairs, emergency generator. I did it. <laughs> I got you. I left him once. I won't do it again. You didn't know you left him. So what now? We got 50 seconds. Get to Riker. Hit the street, dismissed. Oh, Dyko. Yes, sir. I have some news for you about Peter Johnson. He's been transferred back to the VA hospital for psychiatric reevaluation. Well, his prognosis isn't the greatest, but uh, the doctors were very impressed with one thing, Dyko. When you risked your life to save his, it had a profound effect on that man. So perhaps there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Bad trip for a guy who's only trying to do a job for his country. Well, that's one of the problems with war. The survivors, the people who are left behind, like Mrs. Tyson and her daughter, they take a beating too. 